Hey guys, it's Nikki from Still Mama's Nursery and I'm about to do Crystal's um, box packing so I thought I'd take you through um, a little bit about her and what she's going to be coming home with. This is baby Crystal and she is the Crying Tate kit by um, Denise Pratt and I just love um, this doll kit because of the little tongue. You can sort of see a little um, tongue as she's crying and the little gums as well which is really, really, really sweet. And she's got a little fist and, and all her nails um, have been tipped and sealed. And she's a little other hand. And her nails. And Crystal's going to come home or go home um, in the pink um, grow suit that I've popped her in. Um, it just helps to protect her little limbs uh, while she's travelling so um, and it also looks really really sweet and I love the grow suits so she's going to be going home um, in that and she's got a little white singlet on um, underneath so that's going to keep her warm she's also going home with um, this gorgeous knitted uh, set that I had made and it's got a it's like a dress well it's long enough to sort of be like a dress um, coat so it's all um, I think I think it's crocheted, not knitted, but um, it's really gorgeous and it's nice, soft uh, baby material or baby um, knit, so it's really, really soft. And it's, she's put a little bit of lace on the end, which just um, sets it off. And it's got three little buttons at the top. And she's done it a long sleeve as well, so um, it just looks stunning on Crystal. And it also comes with a pair of matching little pants with the same uh, pattern on it. So they look really sweet on her. And a bonnet as well with the same um, pattern on it. And she's also popped a little bit of lace around the um, front, which looks really cute. And little booties as well. Just plain little booties with the same um, pattern on them and then also um, she made a couple of these um, crocheted bibs so I thought um, that would re look really sweet um, with the grow suit so she's going home with one of those as well and of course her um, dummy and it's magnetic and it's been um, like the magnet's been covered just to protect her um, paint on her um, lips and I've found the protective case for that as well, so that just helps to protect the magnet. And of course her diapers, or nappies, and the Winnie the Pooh. Um, her um, little baby brush, so it keeps her hair nice and um, styled. And that comes with a comb as well. And her um, baby blanket, which I'm going to be wrapping her up in. So I thought the spotties... Um, print would look really cute on her so I'll show you how I wrap her up in that and um, this is the 3D baby book um, that we offer let's get everything out the way so I can show you so this is a 3D baby book that I do um, so basically I just print out um, all the photos in like a little um, booklet and then I pop on little um, 3D little sticker thingies just to sort of make it all pretty and all the detailing oops, all her detailing um, is in there as well and there's more photos and her care instructions so you don't lose that and a couple more photos and her um, certificate which is signed by me I'll tie that together with a um, little ribbon and it keeps it all nice and neat so um, all her details and everything is I mean like a little baby book but that's what she's going home with so I'm just going to go and wrap her up and I've got her box um, already and she's going to be just lying on top of there so I'm going to go wrap her up and um, wrap all her clothing up and make everything look pretty but um, yeah guys I'll show you how I wrap her up okay guys so I'm going to wrap up Crystal and I've made sure that she's all nice and um, snuggly and she's got her um, singlet on so she's 
is going to be nice and warm. Now what I want to do is, or what I do, um, I'll grab her hand that's um, with the fist closed and I'll just pop that um, and light it across her chest, just like that. And what I've done this time, um, I've actually folded down one of the corners, but I've actually put it um, to the back. So when she's in the box, I can bring that forward and that can um, cover her little face and just sort of protect her um, during her trip up. So basically what I'm going to do is pop that hand um, down lower and I'm going to grab this corner here and I'm just going to fold um, it over. So I'm just turning her little head, make sure she's looking up or facing up and I'm just going to bring that round and just cover that little hand and then with the other one I'm just going to pop it over the top. Now I'm separating them because I don't want them to rub during her trip home. So I'm just going to grab the second corner and just bring that round and just cover that little hand just like that. But you can sort of see um, it popping out the top which is really cute. And then just tuck that up under and try and keep out the top bit because I'm going to use that to cover her um, little face when she's in the box. So I'll just bring that over and just cover her face like that. But we're going to leave that back just so you guys can see her. She is. And then with the bottom, I'm just going to bring the bottom up. I'm going to fold over the end and just make it so she looks like she's in a little um, cocoon. And just wrap her up. And she's just all snuggly, just like that. And she's ready to go into her box. And I've also got a little ribbon too. Which I'm just going to tie around her. Just to hold that in place. And it also looks really nice too. So when they open her up, and she's got this nice little bow uh, ribbon on her. So just like that. So it's like opening up a little present. But there she is. She's all ready to go into the box. And she's all ready for her trip home. So I'll put her in a box and I'll put everything else um, that she's going home in. And um, show how she's going to be presented to her mummy. Okay guys, so I'll put Crystal into her um, box that she's going to go home with. And her mum also actually ordered um, another um, product. So I've had to sort of fit that uh, in beside Crystal. And she doesn't look too happy about sharing her box, but... Um, she fits quite nicely in there, nice and snug, so she's not going to move around. But um, I've got enough space to sort of put all of her other um, items down in the corner there. And I've just pulled her little blanket um, up over um, from the back so um, I can cover her little face when I'm about to seal up the box. But yeah, the, um, she's got um, nice and snugly. But um, I've got all of her other... Uh, little items here, so I've got to sort of fit all that um, somehow into there. But yeah, guys, that's um, Crystal. So I'll, I'll pop in all of her other um, bits and pieces and um, show you how she's going home. Okay, guys, so Crystal's all in her box, and I've managed to put all of her um, items um, that she's going home with. So under the certificate or baby book, um, I've got her clothing that I've wrapped. So her dress is in there. Um, her baby brush, her dummy and um, comb set um, are in that little um, parcel there that I've just tied with a little ribbon. Her other bib and um, booties and bonnet are in the bottom one just there. Um, she's all nice and snugly for her um, trip home. And her diapers um, I've just popped into the corner there. And then her certificate, um, I've still got to wrap that and pop her... Um, order details in uh, with Crystal, so I'll put that into an envelope and um, protect that, but that's going to go on top just like that. But hey yeah, guys, that's Crystal and she's all ready for her long trip home, so I'm just going to cover her face just with a little bit of blanket, just like that, just to sort of protect her little eyelashes. I'll probably put a little bit of um, tissue paper there just to sort of um, protect her little face and um, just to fill up that little spot, so... But yeah guys that's Crystal's um, box packing so 
Um, I hope you thought it was interesting and wish her a safe journey home. And I'll talk to you guys soon.